LaVar no, Burton. And we were just saying that's mm -hmm. 30 years. 30 years of the brand, of yeah. Of the brand Unreal. Reading yeah. Rainbow. Yeah, absolutely. And you've done so much to educate children and get them to read and inspire them. That and, must feel really good. And love literature. Re re reading Rainbow has always been famous for really instilling a love of the written word in children as opposed to teaching them how to read. Um, and today, if you want to reach kids, you have to be on a mobile device. Television was the technology that we used back in the 80s mm -hmm. to reach kids and connect them to literature. But, but today, television is only one screen that children use in the course of any given day. Yeah. And they're so good at using these. Right. They, this is a generation that they call digital natives, for, and for good reason, because they, they have all been born within arm's length of a smartphone or some sort of electronic device. And so, um, it, we have a tremendous opportunity right now with, with technology to literally revolutionize the way we teach our children. Sure. And if we do not take advantage of it, shame on us. Well, you had mentioned, too, that uh, in, in the break you were talking about how you see little kids swiping pages of newspapers of and newspapers magazines. newspapers, and, 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 and they'll walk up to a television screen and, and, right. and, and try and, and, and manipulate it. Um, they are the generation for whom technology is absolutely native and natural. Now, did your your mother inspired you mm -hmm. to read and Big to, time. to be so? Because your mother was an English she was teacher. She was an English for, the, for those of you who don't know, yeah. and she must be so proud. <laughs> and, and then also, you know, I'm reading all these things about you. You had a full academic scholarship to USC. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are. You're a very accomplished person. Well, <laughs> you're a doer. And that is all because of, I like to say that I am the man that I am because my mother is the woman that she is. I was raised by a single woman who, um, you know, raised three children uh, while maintaining a full-time job and uh, instilled in us a, a real set of values that um, I feel are valuable to pass on to kids, especially in, in today's world. Yeah. Well, you're, you're so, uh, so recognizable. I mean, one of the most recognizable faces in television from Reading Rainbow, 33 years? 30, 30 years on yeah, Reading Rainbow. And, and, yeah. But what do you get recognized for most when you're out walking around? Well, it Roots? depends on the age of, of, of the recognizer, you know? Sure. Um, uh, Roots, of course, was my first job. It was my first audition. I was a sophomore at USC when I was cast in Roots. Um, there are an awful lot of Star Trek fans out there. Right. Star I Trek know. The Next Generation. A lot. Um, and I have to say, though, that, that it, is, it is the Rainbow Nation. It is the, the adults now who grew up on the show back in the 80s who are now beginning to have their own children that are, are probably the, the most um, enthusiastic like fans. You, like you said, they, they, they could watch PBS and their parents could leave the room. And right. if you put the app right. on, your, on your iPad, you can leave your kid with that. And they're not going to find anything wrong. <laughs> well, absolutely. They certainly won't find anything wrong. In fact, what they will find is really enriching you know, content for the kids. And that's really one of the things that we're trying to do with the Reading Rainbow app. There are so many choices out there in, in electronic entertainment, uh, education, and how do you find what's best for your child? Well, we're the Reading Rainbow brand, and, and you know who we are, and, uh, and I'm the curator-in-chief. All of the books, all the videos, they all run through me. Right. Now, I read that you, you read a lot of science fiction mm -hmm. growing up, mm -hmm. and then you went on to write a science fiction book. I did, yeah. So that, that must have, like, it all comes full, full circle, yeah. right? If so. you live long enough, it certainly will. Yeah, the things that we that the, the, the passions that we develop as children, um, even though sometimes they change, for the most part, you know, that die is cast. You know, sure. um, and and when we have an opportunity to really discover who we are and 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 rise to the highest level of our abilities, um, that's when humanity really kicks in. Uh, if you give a, chan a child a chance to really develop into their fullest expression of themselves, you will find that literature and a connection with the written word is really at the heart of that effort. And what we want to do is we want to encourage kids to become lifelong readers. I think that the most, um, the most powerful thing is a, a soul who has a thirst for knowledge. And if you can read, in, in, if you're literate in at least one language, then you've got the key to educating yourself for the rest of your life. Oh, That's I agree. I agree. Well, we're going to talk more. And when we come back, LeVar shares his thoughts on the remake of the classic that launched his career.